Iran threatened Israel with new strikes. It is dangerous to play with its lion's tail. Following Israel's airstrike on Iran, Iranian parliamentarian Mahmoud Abbasadeh Meshkini is warning the country for having made a very dangerous and strategic mistake by playing with the lion's tail. In remarks to the semi-official ILNA news outlet, Meshkini, a member of the National Security and Foreign Policy Commission, emphasized that Iran is equipped with the most advanced military equipment and precision missiles. On April the 19th, explosions were reported near the airport and an army base in Isfahan province located in the central part of the country. The attack prompted Iran's air defense systems to be activated at several sites, according to state media. While U.S. officials have confirmed the attack, Israel has not yet acknowledged any involvement in the airstrike. Iranian state media, controlled by the regime, is downplaying the strike. An official stated that the country's air defenses intercepted three drones and denied any impacts from missiles. Iranian media also reported that their nuclear sites remained secure and showed calm scenes in areas where explosions were reportedly heard. Hezbollah will retaliate if Israel keeps attacking southern Lebanon. Naim Qasem, Deputy Secretary General of the Lebanese Shiite Organization, told NBC News, We will not wage a full-scale war unless the Israelis decide to get into war against us, he said. He pointed out, however, that Hezbollah would not accept that the Israelis transgress the rules of engagement that are currently set in the south of Lebanon. If Israel attacks us and aggresses us, then we will definitely respond. If they escalate, we will escalate, he emphasized. Referring to the Palestinian-Israeli escalation, Qasem placed equal responsibility for civilian casualties on both Israel and the U.S., I consider that U.S. President Joe Biden and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu are both complicit in one scheme with their minor differences, the Hezbollah official said. Zelensky irritated by U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris' request not to hit Russian oil refineries. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris met with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky during the Munich Security Conference in February and urged him to refrain from striking Russian oil refineries. The Washington Post reported this, citing sources. The sources said that Harris's request irritated Zelensky and his aides. The sources noted that the Ukrainian president brushed off these recommendations because he was not sure that they reflected the consensus position of the Joe Biden administration. The newspaper adds that in the following weeks, Washington confirmed this warning in numerous conversations with the Ukrainian side. In particular, these statements were made by senior representatives of the Pentagon and U.S. intelligence, as well as by Jake Sullivan, U.S. national security advisor who visited Kyiv in March. However, since then, Ukraine has struck a number of Russian facilities, including an attack on the 2nd of April on Taneko, Russia's third largest oil refinery located in Tatarstan. U.S. officials say that supporting global energy markets to reduce inflation is a priority for the Biden administration ahead of the presidential election. However, they said it is also important for maintaining European support for Ukraine's war effort. An increase in energy prices risks dampening European support for Ukraine aid, the U.S. official said. The U.S. also doubts the military benefits of these Ukrainian attacks. In particular, the U.S. military believes that the strikes do little to reduce Russia's combat capability and have led to a large-scale missile attack on Ukraine's power grid, which is much more damaging to Ukraine than the strikes on the refineries were to Russia. The newspaper notes that the U.S. position on strikes on Russian refineries has angered Ukraine, which considers such actions to be justified given Russia's continuous attacks on Ukrainian territory. Ukrainian officials believe that these attacks are necessary to raise the price of Russian aggression and to emphasize that Russian society will not be safe until the war unleashed by Russia ends. Earlier, U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin recently criticized the Ukrainian strikes on Russian refineries, questioning their impact on the war. Meanwhile, Europe believes that Ukraine has the right to strike Russian refineries.